Hi friends, this is Sadiq. Uh, in today's demo, I am going to show you how to use any point platform as an API gateway, and you can consume your uh, your own API or any other uh, external API, uh, and integrate with your any point platform uh, application, and then you can use uh, your any point platform to uh, use as an API gateway. Okay, so this is the API is uh, is deployed in somewhere. Uh, we, this the, we have we are using this API as a for testing purpose only. So uh, this is this API is we are using their get method, and uh, with the help of uh, we, and we are going to integrate this API in our application any point the, uh, any point application. Okay. The uh, we are designing the any point application here over uh, uh, application over here itself in in the design center of the any point uh, play, platform. I'll show over here. I'll 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 go to the DN center. New gateway. Is this is this one is very quite easy and uh, if you want I can explain I can create again for you just to so so you let, let me delete all this component and and come I'll do for you uh, okay let me this minute I okay I uh, I have already created the all application now I'm going to go to delete all application over here I am removing my old applications so I can create one for you. Okay, so you can see the application. I have removed the application over here, and uh, I'll show you how to uh, delete the flow as well. Okay, so I have removed my all deployment over here. You can see okay, this one has to remove. This is the proxy one. Okay, this is the dummy uh, dummy URL. Okay. First, we have to go to the design, uh, any point. We have to log in any point and go to the design center. This is the X six point API we are going to uh, consume in our any point play API, uh, any point uh, design center, and then we are going to expose in um, with the help of the any point platform, and then going to implement the proxy on the API. Um, let me let me delete this application. Yeah. Let's go with this one only. Uh, I'll go over here. Uh, HTTP. Okay. Now this is the URL. Sorry. Uh, this is the proxy one. Okay. Uh, you can see. So please come. Okay. Uh, get. Sorry. Get details. Okay. Fine. That's it. Want to change? I'm not going to change anything over here. I'm keeping the same. 
Okay, that's done. Let's go to the add other one. HTTP request. Okay. The HTTP request I'm going to use uh, the URL of my API. Okay, that's okay. And I'm going to use the get method. Right. So this is the complete complete ID over here. That's it from my side. Let's go and uh, add one more logger over here. So that's it going to this over here and now let's go to deploy the application. Okay, yeah. I'm going to deploy on my sandbox environment. I'm going I'm using the same uh, cloud up deployment over here being deployed. You can go and check the deployment status over here. Okay, you can see it's being deployed here. Let it deploy uh, here so, uh, and let's go create the proxy a proxy for the API. Okay, Let's go and deploy the application to create the proxy. Proxy details. Okay. I'm going to use the going to keep the name over here for for future reference. I'll deploy the application. Okay, so that this one is already deployed. You want to see? You can see over here that the details you can see. But you get the response for all the API. What I we have we have designed over here. We are sending request to the this API, this API which is de developed and deployed somewhere 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 else, and we are consuming this API and uh, with the help of in the design, design center, and we are uh, getting the response from this API and uh, we are just showing uh, over in, in the uh, in our response. Okay, now I have created the proxy for the API. Okay, let's go and create the portal for the API. Okay. 
provide the access I'll, I'll use my my application I'm using the same ID same secret okay fine and uh, let's go and uh, implement the policy over here I'll go to any point any point manager go to the policy add the policy you can client enforcement okay configure over there there are two way either you, you get from the header or the or the query parameter so I'll, I'll use the standard one here or uh, is the getting the client id and the secret from the uh, header header itself in, in the request okay now apply that's it and now go to the application and you deploy the application again okay That's it. Let's see uh, the proxy proxy URL. Proxy URL needs need to be. Uh, is it HTTP? Okay. Let me see the what to place the content over here. Right. And the URL URL should be. Get. Let me see the name. Get details right. The, the resource resource value should be get details. See the client ID missing right. Let's go to the add client ID. What we have we have client ID over here which we got from the platform and secret right. You can see the same response we got, which we have we have uh, we have got from the applica deploy application, right? So this way, this this way you can uh, develop your application, consume any web service or REST service, and with the help of that, <coughs> and same you can deploy in the any point uh, platform. You can deploy on any point platform, <coughs> and also you can provide the proxy proxy for the for the api using the any point any point manager that i have done over here and i have created the proxy i have done the proxy selection and the value the url uh, the, this is the url where the api exposed we have we have but where we have done and the rest it's doing the all this uh, uh, api policy implementation done using the policy the api manager and enforcement we, uh, we have done the client id and client secret <coughs> and with the help of the help of that application is validating the authentications of the requester for the api and then forwarding to the main main api okay thanks this is sim simple uh, sample i am i'm exposing over here just because few one of the, my friend asked about how to perform this operation so this is for in, uh, info video only thanks